What is up YouTube? As you can see by the thumbnail, we are doing something a little bit different on this project. So I filmed this back in September and while working on a different bowl project, my neighbor wanted me to make a baseball ring holder, which I have never seen before. So I said, okay, sure, it looks like something basic and simple that I cre could create. And my problem was I don't build a lot of things and haven't done so in a while. So my ambition got a little bigger than my skill set. So here I am on the table saw taking some scrap pine board that I had laying around the garage. Uh, went off a picture that I found on Etsy and decided, okay, I can totally do this. So at this point, I got this table saw at a 45 degree angle. And by the way, I learned real fast, do not backstroke when you're moving stuff on the table saw. So if you're watching this, yeah, it, that shit just flew out of my fucking hand. This is an exact picture of what not to do. So here I am adjusting the table saw again to a little bit like around 40 degrees. And I'm basically having to spitball the actual angles of this because the pointy portion of the diamond needs to line up exactly uh, in one way or you're going to have this cattywampus type of uh, build. So I had to experiment a couple of times. The ones on the right were typically the ones I did first and then the one on the far left is the one that I decided to go with after I had done some cuts. So the next part is you know assembling the rest of the baseball diamond. So essentially this is going to look like a baseball diamond. It's going to hold rings and here I am guesstimating. Uh, I said eight inches but it's not exactly that. Uh, guesstimating the size of everything else that I kind of needed in the project. So here I am using the table saw again, uh, basically trying not to cut my fingers off. So once we did that, you didn't see where I came back and hit it again. So I'm sanding and this is the sander's not even on because I forgot to plug it in and nobody wants to watch sanding. So uh, I'm just letting you know, hey, I sanded my particular project. So I figured the project was too small and was like, okay, I should be able to just adhese everything together with 15 minute epoxy. And as you'll see here in just a moment, this went horribly wrong. My ambition uh, did not go well. So I ended up getting 15 minute epoxy everywhere and then I decided, okay, maybe I can just drill everything back in if I use small enough screws. And thank God that it was able to do this because had this not worked, I would have just stopped this project and told my neighbor, I'm sorry, I can't build anything for you. Uh, so once I get everything screwed in, everything's attached, everything's catawampus, you can see that it's just not level. There's spots that are bigger than others. And I'm basically just filling in the gaps with wood glue at this point. So once I sanded everything down on the edges, which you didn't see, I got everything nice and smooth. You can see the corners are all... Uh, pretty much even at this point. Uh, now I'm just putting in the shelving unit and trying to get an alignment for everything, guesstimating, using some really uh, catawampus type of woodworking skills at this point. So took the wood screw, screwed that in, and got the second shelf put in. Nice and neat. Obviously you can see I'm using scrap wood to keep everything level. But hey, it's level, so not too bad. Right now it's looking pretty good, pretty confident about the build. Uh, after I got it to about this point, which, you know, I didn't think I was going to get to initially uh, with as many problems as I had. So then I just hit it with a sander, had this piece of uh, blank pine board sheet and hitting it with, uh, you know, the saw, it's not a sawzall. What is that? I forgot what that is because I haven't used it in forever. You can tell my uh, skills here are a little, you know, inadequate. So baseball diamond, then I just took some uh, wire nails and just put that in the back. No problem. Easy breezy. Just keeping everything nice and neat. And this part went pretty good. So up until this point, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty confident. It looks exactly what it was designed to look like. Uh, it actually looks like the, you know, thing on Etsy. So here we are. I just took some round, uh, dial rods or dowel rods lol uh from home depot cut those down you should have saw i should have filmed that me cutting these on the table saw things flying everywhere so once i got that all glued in using 15 a minute epoxy then i came back hit it with this uh stain that i've been using for the past couple of projects and it actually looked a lot better stain and i was really glad that i did that it makes that boring white pine you know a little bit 
you know, better looking aesthetically. And she told me initially that I didn't need to stain it, but I figure if I'm doing this project for somebody, I want the quality of the work to be pretty good. So I just added that extra little touch of just coming in and staining it. And yes, I'm doing a horrible job staining, but that's what it looked like overall. And then I decided to hit it with a blowtorch uh, just to add a little extra something. And I keep doing this in these projects where I'm like, I just want to add a little extra something to it. So here we are hitting it with a torch and I just need an excuse to use fire up into this point. So kind of like it, not too bad. It's a lot more interesting than that boring just pine board. And you know, this is something that I gave away for free. Like I said, my neighbor just requested that I make it. So just here's the overall project. I didn't hit it with any lacquer. It looks like what it's designed to look like, kind of, sort of. Maybe I didn't need to hit it with a torch so hard in certain places, but overall, pretty happy with it. It looks like a baseball diamond, and the kid can put his rings on those little uh, prongs. So, hope you liked it, doing something a little bit different. Hope everybody's holiday went well. Beginning of the year, we're going to do some different projects, but hey, this is filmed all the way back in September, but I think it looks pretty good. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace!